Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2021 Honda Ridgeline RTLE, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2021 Honda Ridgeline is a mid-size pickup with a spacious four-door cab and two rows of seating, or it's a refined SUV with a truck bed. Honda's Ridgeline has always worked well as a truck. Its towing and payload abilities fulfill most typical hauling needs, and its unibody construction and independent rear suspension deliver the best on-pavement ride and handling in the business. But the Ridgeline doesn't look enough like other trucks. It rides too low, the nose is too stubby, and the bed comes in only one length. This dual nature comes from a one-piece body. Most pickups have a body built on a ladder frame chassis. It's an unsophisticated old school recipe, but it's rugged, works well for off-road adventures and for towing. The Ridgeline isn't like that. The 2021 Honda Ridgeline deploys a unibody construction like the Honda Pilot SUV. The upside is that it can ride and handle like the Pilot, which is composed and comfortable. The downside is that the Ridgeline looks like a Honda Pilot SUV, but with a truck bed. It seems a little silly saying it, but Honda is aiming to make the Ridgeline look more like a truck rather than the Honda Pilot SUV with a cargo bed out back. The new sheet metal from the windshield Ford helps give the Ridgeline a more squared off look than before. At the rear is a new rear bumper design and a sporty looking dual exhaust. To further toughen up the looks, Honda has brought out an HPD, which stands for Honda Performance Development Package, that includes squared off fender guards, graphics, and special bronze colored wheels. Honda hasn't done much else to the truck's other bits, other than getting standard all wheel drive for 2021 and a volume knob for the infotainment system. It's the same Ridgeline as before. The 2021 Honda Ridgeline is a mid sized crew cab pickup offered in four trim levels Sport, RTL, RTLE, and Black Edition. All Ridgelines are powered by a 3.5 liter V6 engine. That engine makes 280 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque, and that engine's made it to a 9-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive. The base trim is called the Sport. It starts at $36,490. The base Sport trim starts you off with LED headlights, proximity entry and push-button ignition, automatic tri-zone climate control, an 8-inch touchscreen, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, 7-speaker uh, sound system, and Honda Sensing, which includes adaptive cruise control, lane keep and assist, and forward collision mitigation. Moving up to the RTL, which has a starting MSRP of $39,470, adds several creature comforts, such as a sunroof, power sliding rear window, leather upholstery, power adjustable heated front seats, and blind spot monitoring. Moving up to the RTL-E, which has a starting price of $42,420, brings several tech updates, including wireless smartphone charging, an eight-speaker upgraded audio system, a truck bed audio powered by six in-bed drivers that use the bed as a speaker, a heated steering wheel, driver's seat memory function, a navigation system, second row USB charge ports, an LED ambient interior lighting, and a household style power outlet in the bed. At the top of the tier, you have the black edition that starts at $43,920. The black edition is a cosmetic package that builds on the RTLE with blacked out exterior trim, black leather interior with red accents, black wheels, and red LED ambient interior lighting. Several packages are available across the Ridgeline range, including a function package, which includes in-bed trunk drivers, in-bed cargo net, and a first aid kit. And then there's a function plus package, which includes the function package equipment, plus a tonneau cover. Then there's a Honda performance development package that gets you bronze colored wheels, fender flares, HPD emblems and decals, and a unique front grille. Finally, there's a utility package, which includes roof rails and crossbars and running boards. As far as which trim to get, I say go for the RTLE. A base Ridgeline has lots of standard safety features, but the RTLE adds some desirable extras, such as blind spot monitoring, the upgraded stereo, a heated steering wheel, 
rear seat USB ports, and Honda's in-bed stereo drivers. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2021 Honda Ridgeline. Real quick before we get started, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related Honda build and price reviews. I've put links down in the description below. If you like this 2021 Honda Ridgeline, you might be interested in other 2021 Honda build and price reviews I've done. I've recently done the build and price review of the 2021 Honda Pilot EXL with all-wheel drive. I did the 2021 Honda Passport in the Elite trim. I did the 2021 Honda CRV EXL with all-wheel drive. And I did the 2021 Honda Accord Touring. So, after you watch this video, make sure you check out one or two of my other Honda videos as well. Okay, so let's check out the colors for the 2021 Honda Ridgeline. There aren't actually that many. This color here is Radiant Red Metallic 2. There's Platinum White Pearl. There's Pacific Pewter Metallic. Obsidian Blue Pearl. Modern Steel Metallic. Lunar Silver Metallic. And then Crystal Black Pearl. I think I like the Modern Steel Metallic. We can also do a little 360 spin of the exterior. So let's do a little 360 virtual walk around of the 2021 Honda Ridgeline. It's been redesigned this year. Got a new front end, got a new rear end. Uh, the engines are the same, the interior is basically the same, but you know, it's got, a, it's got an updated new look on it. During the intro, we saw lots of exterior photos of the 2021 Honda Ridgeline. So let's quickly, there's not many, let's quickly go through these interior gallery photos. Right, they're showing the, the instrument cluster here. Uh, look at this push button transmissions. A lot of I see a lot of Japanese cars going to this now, a lot of import cars going to that, that setup there, which is kind of interesting. The interior is just okay. I mean it, it's it's standard Honda stuff. Uh, nothing fancy, but I mean it I mean it's fine. If you're into the Honda thing, it works. Here's their uh, navigation. The standard 8-inch display audio navigation. And then here they're showing you the multifunction steering wheel. Look at that leather all wrinkled up right there. Okay, let's move on. Actually, forgot about the black edition. Uh, forgot to show you the gallery images for the black edition. So let's quickly just take a, a quick look at the exterior and interior photos for the black edition. Here, obviously... We can see the black exterior, the black wheel. Uh, here they're showing the uh, piano black grille. And then it's got the black edition badging. Here they're showing a close-up of the black edition wheels. They're 18-inch wheels. They're 18-inch alloy wheels. Here they're showing the black edition leather-trimmed uh, steering wheel. And perforated black leather-trimmed seats. And they have red contrast stitching, as we can see there. And then there's one more here. And they're showing the black edition display audio touch screen so it's you know it's got it's it's got red lighting it's just a unique touch so it's really the same system it's just got a little bit different touch on it okay so before we get into the build of our ridge line we're going to do the rtle uh let's go over all the features let's go over these exterior and interior features there's capability features te there's technology features we are we're going to learn more about the honda sensing which is their suite of standard safety features so yeah, let's get into these exterior and interior features. Find out about this HPD uh, performance, you know, development appearance package thing first. So if you want the most rugged truck-like looking Honda Ridgeline, then I guess you're going to want to pop for the HPD package. Gives you the fender flares, gives you the bronze wheels. The HPD stands for Honda Performance Development. So I guess now they're going to break down those specific features. So here they're giving us a close-up of the fender flares. We can see that sport grill. They say it's all about attitude and aggressive style. And then they're very proud of, I'm sure, these all-new 18-inch bronze alloy wheels. As I was saying before, the 2021 Honda Ridgeline has been restyled. It's been restyled in the front end. So it's got a bold new look, striking appearance. It's got a new hood, grill, and bumper redesigned front end. Introduces a tougher aesthetic 
to this truck. I don't know how much tougher it is, but it's certainly different. It's better, though. It's certainly better. Here's a picture of the previous 2020 Ridgeline, and I certainly think it looks better. So they don't offer it as standard, but you can get LED low beam headlamps, you can get LED fog lights, and you can get daytime running lights. Yeah, they got this right. They talk about body lines. They say the Ridge line was designed to take conventional truck styling and update it as only Honda can. Yeah, and look at the result. I'm not saying it's good looking because, you know, it's it's not. It's a pop. The Ridge line is quite popular, but it's not attractive. I can tell you that much. This is funny. Designed to appear more aggressive. It's not really. It's just designed to appear more aggressive. These 18-inch wheels give the Ridgeline a dominant stance. I don't know about all that. Now here we've moved on to the rear end. And I think these improvements look nice. I don't know about the wheels or anything like that. But the rear end does look nice. I like the little the, the dual exhaust tips. All that looks great. And you do get standard LED tail, lamp, tail lights in the back. So you can seat up to five people in the back, and you have 60-40 split lift-up rear seats. And then as soon as you get out of the base model, the base model is the only one that doesn't come with leather interior. As soon as you're out of the base model, as soon as you're out of the sport, uh, then you have the available leather trim seats and a leather wrap steering wheel for added comfort. So here they're showing us the 60-40 uh, split lift-up rear seat showing us multiple rear seat configurations so you can create room for bike, groceries, camping gear, all that stuff there. There's an available 10-way power driver's seat which includes power lumbar support, uh, two-position memory, and a four-way power seat for the front passenger. Here they're showing us the available one-touch power moonroof. Here they're showing us the center console. It's got a lot of storage. They say you can store a 10 inch tablet or first aid kit and there's a USB charging port that's in there as well and it looks like a household style 12 well, not a household style but a 12 volt outlet is also down in here as far as exterior interior amenities are concerned you've got available uh, heated front seats and a heated steering wheel you've got tri-zone climate control so that's standard that means people in the second row have a they have HVAC controls as well here they talk about the wireless phone charger uh, and how it has an LED indicator showing that it's charging and everything but they don't so sh uh, say whether or not this is a standard or available feature so that's we'd like to know that that'd be nice uh, like for instance they're telling us remote engine start is standard we saw this in the gallery images, this multi-informational interface. It's a 4.2 inch color uh, interface uh, that shows that's in between the instrument cluster there. So it shows you all kinds of things. Uh, we can see temperature, range. I'm sure it goes through several different menus. Here above that, they've got a digital speedometer in very, in very big font. In the second row, you have uh, USB charging ports. And I guess that was it for our exterior and interior photos, our photos, features. Now let's move on to the capability features of the 2021 Honda Ridgeline. Here, right off the jump, they're talking about the engine, the all-wheel drive system, the 280 horsepower, and it, that this vehicle can tow up to 5,000 pounds, and it's got a scratch-resistant truck bed. So let's check out some more features. Here we're under these, we got an all-terrain tab. Here they're talking about the all-wheel drive system that works with the uh, intelligent traction management system uh, that helps you really, that helps you when you're like tackling snow, sand, mud, all that stuff there. And here's the intelligent traction management system. And we can see the modes, normal, snow, mud, sand, and so, yeah, there you go. They say tested tough here. And what do they actually mean by that? They mean that uh, they've pushed this all-wheel drive system to the limit. It's been all over the place. 
They've had it in severe weather in America, freezing temperatures and all that there. And so they've put it through the test and through its paces is what they're telling us. The 2021 Honda Ridgeline features an in a fully independent front and rear suspension. Uh, we already talked a little bit in the, in the intro about the unibody construction. And the benefits of that, they tell us right in the last sentence, offers better driving characteristics, improve isolation from wind noise and vibration. But it's less, it's not truck-like because trucks ride on a different kind of chassis. So check this out. They're showing us the dual action tailgate of the Honda Ridgeline. It can flip down or it can swing out, whichever might work best for the situation, I guess. That's, that's kind of cool. Here they're showing us the lockable in-bed trunk. It's got 7.3 cubic feet of uh, storage under there. So you can use it as an ice chest, store wet gear, all that without compromising bed utility. They say you got a lay flat trunk truck bed. And so you can even haul 4x8 sheets of plywood, they say, in this thing. Well, they say they got a truck bed power outlet here so you can plug in your big screen tv apparently so available 150 watt 400 watt truck bed outlet in the wall of the bed allows you to plug in power tools or a tv here they're talking about the lockable tailgate uh, and you can pair that with the available hard truck bed cover i do like the truck bed cover that's kind of nice and then they talk about a composite Truck bed, standard UV stabilized, scratch resistant truck bed, right? Can handle the toughest loads. Here they're talking, wow, look at that engine. Doesn't even really look like an engine. It's got so much stuff around it. At any rate, this lump here, uh, V6 engine makes 280 horsepower. And what was it? 5,000 pound toy capacity. Oh, d there it is right there. 5,000 pound toy capacity from the, that engine makes 262 pound feet of torque. Uh, it's got a seven, it's got a standard integrated tow hitch with a seven pin connector. And then all that is run through this, uh, nine speed automatic transmission. We kind of covered all this stuff in the intro, boy, I really knocked it out of the park there with the roof rails, with the crossbars over there. Uh, they got the black running board. So now we're off looking at accessories here is what we're really trying to check out here. So we're looking at uh, a few accessories. They got a kayak attachment. Uh, they got a bed extender. You're going to need it because that, that's not even really a truck bed, is it? Uh, oh, what did that say? So the bed extender gives the Ridgeline extra 16 inches of storage for the total maximum cargo length of 76 inches. Uh, then you got the cargo net they're showing you here. You've got the in-bed trunk cargo device. Okay, let's go over the technology features for the 2021 Ridgeline. Honda says that the Ridgeline is packed with technology from the available Honda Satellite Link Navigation System to a truck bed audio system. We've seen this picture many times already. This is the 8-inch display audio touchscreen. Uh, so you can do all your stuff here. Navigation, phone, settings, audio. They got the truck bed audio link in there and everything. Then, of course... You've got Apple CarPlay integration. You've got Android Auto integration. Uh, there's an available Honda Satellite Link navigation system that features 3D renderings of terrain and all that stuff. Then there's an available Honda Link app that can save your parking location, view your fuel range, schedule service appointments, all that stuff. Here they're talking about the uh, truck bed audio system that uses the bed walls to pump out, pump out great sound. Well, good thing that we're going to get the RTLE because it comes with a powerful 540 watt eight speaker premium audio system. I bet you that does sound good because the cabin's not really that big in there. Uh, here they talk about radio choices uh, because they show us Pandora, HD radio, Sirius XM radio, all that stuff. Here, the available blind spot information system with cross-traffic monitor. So that's not standard, but you can get it. What is standard is a multi-angle rear view camera that offers three different views, wide, normal, and top-down. 
You've got Smart Entry with Walk Away Auto Lock. And so that's cool. You can leave your key fob in your pocket. Uh, the doors will automatically lock when you move eight feet away from the vehicle. So the Honda Ridgeline, every Ridgeline comes with Honda Sensing. It's a suite of safety and driver assist technologies. And here's what it includes. You've got the collision mitigation braking system. You've got road departure mitigation system. You've got adaptive cruise control. You've got lane keeping assist. And yeah, that's it. These are the systems. So you got one, two, three, uh, four. You've got uh, four systems that make up the Honda Sensing Suite. Okay, so we went through all the features. Let's go build and price out now. Our uh, RTLE starts at $42,420. You only get one powertrain. No matter which ridge line you get, they all come with this V6 that makes 280 horsepower. So let's move on to design. What was that color that I said I liked? Was it lunar silver, modern steel metallic? That's what it was. Let's go with modern steel metallic. And then we can go to interior color selection. So we've got the gray leather, but I don't want the gray leather. Let's go with the black leather. Okay, we've got the black leather interior. And oh, look, we can do a 360 virtual look around, walk around of the interior of our Ridgeline RTLE. We've got the black leather. Let me straighten that out. We got the black leather interior. Let's move on and select wheels. So we can get those 18 inch black alloy wheels. No, or we could just stay with these 18 inch exclusive pewter gray wheels. Let's just leave the pewter gray wheels on there. I'm fine with that. Uh, and then there's some packages now. I talked about those packages already. I don't think we need the HPD package. I don't think I need the function package or the utility package or any of that kind of stuff because it's really just in-bed trunk dividers or cargo nets, things like that. I, the HPD package is just an appearance package that blacks everything out. I don't really want that. Uh, then they have accessory packages that they bundle together, you know, like uh, wheels and, you know, splash guards and crossbars and fender flares and, and things like that. And that's all specific to you. Uh, for me, I'm not interested in any of those things, to be quite honest with you. So let's move on now. They got us in more accessories. So now we've got body side moldings, bike attachments, bed extenders, all that kind of stuff. Nothing, you know, nothing exciting. The only thing that I might be interested in is the hard cargo area cover. I do like that cover. It's $1,044. We're not going to grab it, but mm, out of everything that they're showing us here, that's probably about it. I might like the splash guards, but they do it as a front and rear set uh, or individuals. They got a tent there, of course. They got trailer hitches and all of that. Um, let's move on to the summer. Oh, wait, we're not done. There, There's others. There are other accessories. So we'll just look through them. Some of them are interesting. You know, you got your all-season floor mats. You got your door sills. I do. I, I am a big fan of illuminated door sills. They don't even. There it is. They show us a picture of the illuminated door sill. That is nice. You know what? We're going to go ahead and add those for sure. I like stuff like that. That's nice. They got rear seat covers for if you have pets and things. I like that. Uh, more accessories. They got the welcome lights. I, but I think we're good. So here we are. We're at the summary. Uh, the base price was $42,420. And honestly, we're just sitting a little bit over that because all we did was add those illuminated door sills. Everything else was standard fare. I like the modern steel metallic paint. We went with the black leather. We, we kept with the standard 18-inch wheels that are uh, pewter gray. And so on that note, you know what? We're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this review of the 2021 Honda Ridgeline RTLE helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the very next video.